Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. We are back at Walmart today. It's been a little bit since we've done a Walmart video. Today I decided it'd be fun if I came to my local Walmart and I tried on every single style of dress. If it's on these racks and it's in my size, I'm gonna be trying it on today. So, so far I've got like five dresses, but I'm gonna keep looking around and see if I can find anything else and I'll share with you guys. Something else that I found to be pretty cool is most of the dresses look to be under $20. So that's always a plus. Okay guys, I have a whole grocery cart full at this point. I don't even know how many I have, but literally every single dress that I could find in here is inside this cart. Okay, so here is the very first dress. This is a denim dress that I thought would be nice and cool for summer, but it's actually two layers. So you have like the jean part on top and then you have like a slip underneath. So it definitely has extra coverage if that's something that you want in a dress, but considering that the weather is about to get hot pretty much everywhere, I don't really know how I feel about this dress. It's kind of just a heavy, feeling kind of dress but I really love these tassels here I think these are really really cute this is time and true and I got it in a size 1618 and they have a few other colors that I wanted to try I wanted to try the black one because that's one that I would probably wear often but um but yeah overall I think it's like a really cute dress and I do like the denim color for spring there's so many different ways that you could pair this dress number two this one is definitely much more see-through you can see every little possible thing but I think it's a very pretty color and I do like the top here how it kind of like cuts in and goes up instead of just being all the way sleeveless right here if that makes any sense at all I don't know if it makes any sense this is one of the most inexpensive of the entire bunch that I got so if you're insecure about this kind of thing, you can see your stomach showing or whatever, you can always wear a body shaper and that'll tone it down a little bit, but I don't really care. I don't usually wear dresses this thin unless it's like to bed. Like these are my favorite things to wear to bed because it's like a nightgown. It's like super soft and super comfortable. So I might buy it just for that. This is also in a size 16, 18, and it is also time and true. All right, this is the third dress and it caught my attention because number one, the cut up here is super cute. I really love the buttons all the way down. The color is a fabulous color. I don't know if you guys can see it in this light, but it's kind of like a rusty kind of orange. So it actually kind of looks like it's made more for fall time than spring, but it's still really cute and you could like pair it any way you want to. Um, this is actually no boundaries and I size all the way up to a 21. It's actually very, very stretchy and pretty roomy on me. Like I could maybe even size down to a 19, but I really do think this is like my perfect size when it comes to no boundaries, which is a junior's line, just in case you guys don't know. Time and True, which I just tried on, is more a plus size brand. So um, this is for juniors and it's less than $10. So that's pretty cool, but I really do think it's pretty stinking cute. Okay, here's the fourth dress, and I feel like this one is a fail. Like, I would just never, ever wear this dress for a few different reasons. Number one, it is a little bit too big. It's a size 16, 18, so maybe if I size down, that would help. But I doubt it, because here's what the problem is. I'm really, really short, and so the pockets are probably supposed to be up higher, because they look weird right at this level. I don't know. I don't like that at all. Um, so, you know, being short has its disadvantages. Even if the pockets were down here, it would look good. If I do I have to pull this all the way down? I just don't understand. I feel like no matter what I do to this dress, it just doesn't look the way that I want it to. But I really love the color and the material is very interesting. Almost like a sweater kind of fabric, but it's, it's a little lighter than that. But it is um, I mean, pretty thick compared to the other dresses that I tried on. Um, and then with the pockets, obviously, that adds more fabric than usual. So this is time and true, and I'm just not doing it, you guys. But I'm not one of those people that just likes to wear, like, baggy dresses around, usually. Like, this isn't really my style, but I thought I'd give it a try. By the way, my sandals are also from Walmart, and they will be in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. Okay, I had a feeling this one was going to look horrendous, but since I promised you guys that I would try on every single dress, 
I had to try on every single dress. Um, this one's just not, not cutting it for me at all. This isn't even cute up here. I don't like it. Um, it does tie in the back. And once again, very, very thin material. It doesn't really even cover all of my bra on both sides. I do like the pattern down here. I think it's cute, you know, like the floral print down there. But yeah, it's a no for me. This is a size 21, no boundaries. Okay, so this dress is Tara in Sky. Um, Tie-dye is really in, it's really cute. I wasn't really a fan of just the fabric, number one, but also just the way that it looks on the top here. Like, I don't like this little slit here. I feel like it's kind of random. Like, either take it out or make it longer. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan on that. It is really big on me. I got a size 2X, so I definitely would have to size down in that arena. But I think this would be, like, a perfect swim cover-up. I would never wear this by itself. Well... Never say never. I think there's definitely ways you could spice up a dress like this. One being you could put a belt, of course, and then pair it with like a floppy hat. It would be really, really cute if you're planning on doing like a tropical vacation. This material is super soft. All this material that I've tried on today is really soft. It's Walmart. I feel like they're like the softest material, but their quality is not amazing. That's Walmart to me. So another dress that I knew would be absolutely terrible on me, but I had to stick with wearing things every single dress in Walmart. So yeah, this is pretty terrible. This is no boundaries size 21 and it's just not meant for me. I actually saw one of my favorite bloggers try on this dress, but she doesn't really carry a lot of her weight in her stomach. I'm just not digging it, but I already knew it wasn't gonna be a good fit on me. Rule of thumb, if you're somebody who has a stomach like me, um, or you're just somebody who carries extra weight everywhere. Find dresses that hit you like at the waist and then flare out. Um, a lot of people will do the bodycon dresses, like the really tight dresses. It's not my favorite. And once again, if I do do it, I have to wear a body shaper. Like I would never just wear this like this, but this had a lot of different colors as well. And um, I think it'd be a super cute dress if this isn't something that would like bother you. Um, this was in a size 16, 18 and it is by Time and True. Finally, a dress I like. This is one that I would probably wear. This is a Time and True size 1X. Very basic, plain black dress, but as you can see, it is pretty flattering and I like the way it flares out. It's kind of like a tunic dress. And um, up here on the sleeves, you have tie sleeves. So that's cute and sweet. Um, what else? Oh, did I already say it's a 1X? I think so. I'm really tired. So I can't remember what I said at this point. <laughs> but I have one more dress to go after this one. So let me know if you guys like this one. Okay, the last dress. And I'm pretty sure this is made for tall girls. Because if I pull this all the way down so there's not like a bunch of thread up here and like fabric and stuff then this tie is like all the way down here which it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be like up here but when i do this see how all of that kind of bunches up there here maybe i can pull this down I'm just kind of seeing as i go i mean yeah this isn't cute this isn't flattering this isn't attractive but if you're taller than me chances are you are because i'm five five and I think you could rock this and you would look fantastic. This is a 0X, so it's definitely not too big because this is the smallest size. I just think it's the dress as a whole. Not that cute. On me. On me. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this video. That is me trying on all the dresses. I guess there were only 10 of them. I didn't end up buying any of them because I'm just, I'm not like 100% on any of them yet. But you guys should definitely let me know which one was your absolute favorite because I'm super curious. If you're brand new here, please be sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy the Walmart content kind of videos. I have a fun video coming up next where I'm going to be comparing Walmart to Target. So definitely stay tuned for that one. I have $100 and I'm going to be spending at each store and we're going to see what it buys us. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day and we will see you in our next video.